Hello everyone, welcome to the next part of my Pokemon Black Nuzlocke Challenge and also welcome new subscribers, the ones who have subscribed to my channel from TGNRPG Thank you and welcome to uh, one of the series I'm making right now This is a Pokemon Black Nuzlocke Challenge which basically means that uh, if a Pokemon dies during this playthrough I will have to release him because he will be considered dead and also I can only catch the first Pokemon I encounter on each route Well that's basically the rules in a nutshell so now let's go onwards. The last thing I did was yeah, it was right here. So let's read the book and go on to the next tip to bring me to the next bookshelf or something. The structure of a locomotive. Do you, do you want to read this book? I suppose I will have to. Flame burns inside its body. Yeah, I've already covered this. <laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, as you might still remember, in the last episode I lost my first Pokemon, Marijuana. So uh, yeah, you will be dearly missed, you poor little thing, you monkey. I know you wanted to prove your worth. Well, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> okay, now let's go onwards. Question. If you heat it up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What's it? Okay. The hint on a bookshelf closer to the entrance than here. Well, this is actually, like, the furthest away, so... Uh, I'll just go here. What's this? Have you already found the third Mimo? Pretty good. Okay. So, what does the Mimo say? If you heat it up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is it? The book I'm reading is about Tepig. But you don't think the book is about Tepic the answer, do you? No, I do not. I don't think that if you put Tepic in a pot or something, that is gonna be good. It reminds me, in the past, I've seen sweets made by heating up berries. Now, what were they called? Yeah, what were they called? Well, now let's go here. I haven't been here yet. Uh, children's books, sweets for Pokemon. Yes, I think that's the one. It describes delicious sweets made by heating berries in a pot. There are sweets called Poffins, made from berries in, in the faraway Sinnoh region, and Pokémon love them. Okay, then. There is Mimo on the cover. Did you manage to get here without being tricked by the questions? Indeed I have. Now, this is the last question. From the bookshelf, move two backward, move one to the left, move two forward, and move one to the right. Okay. What is that? And move one backward, okay, then. Now, where is it? The hint is, find it by yourself. Fuck you. Okay, so I think two backwards. What happens if I go two backwards? Back, back. Then one to the left. Then two forwards. Then one to the left or something. <laughs> and yeah, that's probably not gonna be it. Adventures on Route 3. Do you want to read this book? I actually do want to read it because maybe it is gonna be the book. Nah, this is not the book you're looking for. Okay, well, maybe it's a bit like in a more philosophical way. So move two steps backwards. So uh, I need to go to the to the last bookshelf, if I'm not mistaken, and then the one before that, I think that was this one, um, then move one to the right, then move two forwards, <laughs> I could be completely wrong, of course, and yeah, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll just try this, general study, system of book, my center, yeah, I do want to read the book, I'm just going to try, you know what, I'm going to pause the video and stuff, so um, I will see where I need to get the book, so, because I'm kind of confused right now, I don't know where to go. I haven't been here yet, I think, so maybe now it's this. I'm wondering, did you see the last Mew and come to me? Okay, I'll give you the last question. Okay, this will, this will help. Can you challenge the gym leader if you win against me? Okay, then. Teehee, that is correct. Well, here we go, trainer. Okay, then. Well, apparently I've found the one, I think. Ah, hopefully you won't kill my Ulmo. Or actually, you will kill my Ulmo, I'm not really sure. Because uh, I kind of don't like Ulmo, for some reason. <laughs> He cheated on my wife, for God's sake. Well, I'll pause the video and Lillipop will be dead in a second. If anything happens, I will be sure to inform you immediately, okay? So be right back. And Lillipop is now dead, and I am now level 17. Do I learn a new move? I do not think so. No, indeed, I do not. Well, now, I won't... <laughs> I won't fight with this Pokemon anymore, so I'll just switch to my Ignisho, because he knows a fighting move. So yeah, he'll have an advantage. I'm definitely going to... I'm definitely... Ugh, fuck my English. I will definitely have to use my Ignisho against the gym leader. Because I heard that she is one tough opponent. And my Pokemon are rather under levels. So yeah, let's, let's just do Arm Thrust, which is a fighting move. And I'll pause the video as well. So I will be right back. Oh, actually, I do not even need to pause the video. Well, actually, I do. Because now I will have to defeat the last... I think it's going to be another Lily Pup. Yep, so I will pause the video. And I'm now level 18, do I learn anything new? No, I do not, unfortunately. Oh, wow, I lost, but thanks for a great battle. Okay, then. Hopefully, now I will have the permission to go to the gym leader. Ah, oh, soon. This is the last book. Now, read the last book, you bugger. Okay, I'll, I'll guess I'll have to read it. This is Bookshelf for Pokemon. 
The biology of Tepic, do you want to read this book? I think I do, I think I have to. It describes the, bio the biology of Tepic. Flame burns inside his body and it gives off flame from its nostrils. When it's not well, it can give off only smoke. Okay then. <laughs> that's not, that's kind of boring. There's a meme between the pages. You've managed to get here. Well done. You seem to have wisdom as well as strength. I look forward to our battle. Gym, le gym leader Lenora. Okay then. Oh, what's this? There's a switch under the book. Holy shit. One epic moving book uh, bookshelf. That's kind of good. Ah, uh, what's this? Uh, what exactly did I say? That's kind of good. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Fail on my behalf. Whoa, a hidden staircase. Yeah, if you didn't notice so a bit sooner. Well, I'll quickly heal up my Pokemon and I will be right back. Well, actually, I think I will end the episode as well. But first, before I do that, I will go outside and show you guys something. So first, let's go here. Pass the husband of the gym leader, Lenora. I wish I would just be able to, like, uh, buy the gym badge. Like, <laughs> Sort of like give her money, like, shut up and give me a gym badge. Well, yeah, actually, now you can see the trees are now a bit reddish, so that means that it is now fall. Uh, in the last couple of episodes, it was summer, and then the trees were green, of course. They're not gonna be blue suddenly. And, uh, yeah, now it's fall, so, yeah, the trees are red and stuff. So winter is coming up, and I can only catch certain Pokemon in certain seasons. So uh, I think now I will be able to catch more bug Pokemon and stuff like that. And in the next Pokemon, there'll be like more Ice Pokemon, but not not that many Fire Pokemon anymore. So yeah, it's, uh, that's kind of a shame, really. But yeah, I will survive. Okay. So yeah, goodbye. So see you guys in the next episode, which should be uploaded on Wednesday. But tomorrow, you can also be expecting and yeah, the Liquid Crystal part thingy. Okay. So goodbye. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it.